Hey guys, how's it going? Naseeb here and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to use Facebook conversion API trigger in Go High Level to send conversion data back to Facebook ads. So if you're doing Facebook ads and if you're doing like Facebook instant form ad or lead form where, where there's a there's a form on Facebook ad where people click and submit that form, what happens is you can automatically send that data to Go High Level. And in Go High Level, where you decide that this is a good lead, what you can do is you can send this conversion data back to Facebook ads saying that this is a good lead, generate more leads like this. So this is basically the use case and I'm going to show you how you can do this. This is a really simple process. So if you watch the whole video, you can, you can see how I do it and you could do this for your business as well. And Facebook actually claims that doing this actually improves the lead quality by 21% and reduces the cost per lead by 16%, which is a huge saving, I would say, if you're doing Facebook ads for long term. And if you're doing Facebook ads for your clients, you could apply this like to generate more quality leads. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. First of all, I'm going to go to my Go High Level account and say whenever there's a Facebook lead form submission, the data is going to automatically create pipeline uh, opportunity here. So there will be a new lead tile over here whenever there's a lead form submission. And if that person books an appointment, we will consider that this is a good lead and automatically the data will go to a Facebook ad through conversion API. That's all we need to do here. And you could actually change it to according to your needs. So I'm not going to go ahead and like explain all the use cases, but this is going to be enough for you to understand how it works, right? So first of all, we need to go to business.facebook.com slash settings, business.facebook.com slash settings. And it's going to ask me which business manager I want to work with. I want to add, uh, I want to work with my own business manager over here. And here I need to go to data sources and I need to go to data sets. If you're confused uh, about what data sets are, data sets are basically pixels. So we used to have Facebook pixels and now they're calling it data sets for some reason. I don't know. So here you can see a few pixels or data sets, whatever you call it. Um, I'm going to create a new one just to show you how it works. So if I hit add, it's going to ask me what's the name of the data set. I'm going to say this is going to be GHL conversion API data or just I'm going to give it my name, whatever. So now it's going to create a data set for me. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to assign a few people. From here, I'm going to assign it to myself, manage and create, you know, all those stuff you want to do with data sets. And now I'm going to open it in events manager. All right. So this is the pixel or the data set we created. Now, what I need to do is I need to select this green plus icon and this is actually creating a new data source and the data source will be a CRM because we are sending the data from go high level, which is a CRM. Now connect next. And uh, here it's going to ask me which pixel or data set I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with the one that I just created. All right, cool. Now I can actually go ahead and show you my Facebook ad. So if I come down here, this is the campaign I just created. And if I come down to the ad set level, the type of conversion uh, event is instant forms, which is uh, which used to be known as Facebook lead forms. It's basically the same thing. There's a lot of names for the same thing on Facebook ads. I don't know why. And now if I go to my ad, this is the instant form over here, lead form 522. So this is an instant form I created. If you wanted to learn more about instant forms, just go ahead and Google or uh, go to YouTube and search for Facebook instant forms. You'll get to learn a lot more. Or maybe I'll have videos in the future about uh, instant forms in detail. But for now, let's just understand that this is the instant form we want to work with. And yeah, it's pretty simple. Just create a form and follow the steps. That's all. If I now go to go high level, I want to go to settings and integrations. I want to now connect my Facebook page. This is a demo account, by the way, guys. And now it's going to ask me which Facebook page I want to connect with this go high level account. You know, all those basic stuff. I think it's automatically fetched my Facebook profile or, and Facebook page. Okay, it's, ask, it's asking me to select the page. Okay, connect Instagram and Facebook. Cool. 
All right, now I have an instant form that I just showed you connected with my Facebook page. It's gonna automatically fetch that instant form, basically all the instant forms that's connected to this page. And as you can see, it's already mapped that Facebook instant form. If it's not mapped, just go ahead and map fields, select all the fields and map them with the go high level fields uh, and hit save. That's all that will activate the instant form. Now, if I go to automation, I have a folder called Facebook ads here. I have two automations, right? So the first one is what happens when there is a lead form submission. So whenever the lead form is submitted, the data comes to go high level and this workflow actually decides what happens next. As you can see, Facebook lead form submitted is the trigger of this workflow and I've put a filter called inform and the form is lead form 522. So that's already done. I'm sending a notification to myself that a new lead has been generated. I'm adding a tag saying Facebook ad so I can filter them uh, out in the future and I'm sending an an email to the person saying that thank you for submitting the form I'll get back in touch soon also I want to add a new step called create or update opportunity so I'm gonna add it to the main pipeline so this opportunity will create a tile inside the main pipeline uh, and it's gonna create it under new lead full name and status will be open okay that's all we need to do for this one now if i go to the second one the second workflow is what we are interested in in this video so this video is known as sent data to capi or conversion api what this does is based on the pipeline stage change automatically this workflow will send data back to facebook ad or meta ad to conversion api and how we set this up is what i'm about to show you so here I'm going to say pipeline stage changed. And I'm going to say in pipeline, main pipeline, pipeline stage has been changed to appointment booked. What I'm going to do is I'm going to search for Facebook conversion API. And here, let's understand a few things, right? So the event type will be a lead event, not a funnel event because we are working with instant forms or lead forms over here. So this will be a lead event. Access token is if we go back to the events manager where we set up our pixel or data set, we have to go to settings. Basically, if we come back to overview and go to settings, here I can see an option under setup direct integration that says generate access token. So it's going to ask me to create an access token, which I'm going to copy over and come back to my Go High Level account and paste it over here. So access token is done. Now it's asking for a pixel ID. So the pixel ID is going to be, if I come to settings on the pixel, just copy this data set ID and paste it over here. The stage name is going to be, if I come down to opportunity, I'm going to say stage name. So the stage name is basically appointment booked. That's all. So if I hit save, what I'm doing is whenever there's a new appointment booked and how we know is uh, whenever the tile moves to appointment booked stage, whenever this happens, we send the conversion data to Facebook ads. And this is not just the name, email, phone number, guys. This is a lot of other things as well. So I'm, I'm just going to save this quickly. All right, so I'm back in my data set and if i go to settings it's now asking me to choose my crm so i'm going to choose my crm here i'm going to search for lead connector instead of go high level so lead connector is the gray label name for those who don't know of high level so lead connector and i'm gonna just yeah just select this one and that's all you need to do and we are going to do the rest manually so that's i guess all we need to do on the event manager part in facebook ads and we have successfully set up our two main automations we need to create so again in opportunity whenever a lead comes in through the facebook lead form this will end up here and whenever the tile moves to appointment booked the conversion data will be fed back to facebook ads from go high level through conversion api let's now test it out so basically i'm gonna search for facebook lead form testing tool 
and I'm gonna search uh, go to the first one and here if I click this tool this is the this is the lead form testing tool guys and all right so I'm gonna select my page and here I'm gonna select the lead form and I'm gonna say create lead this is gonna send a test lead to the CRM all right guys so as you can see a test lead has been already generated and if now I move this lead to appointment booked this data should go back to Facebook ads through the conversion API now now let's actually check the automation uh, whether it was executed successfully so we will go back to automations and the first one we're gonna look into is this one so if I look into execution logs as you can see all the events that I wanted to execute were or were actually executed successfully now if I look at the second one if I look at execution logs now um, okay added to workflow because the pipeline stage was was changed and as you can see Facebook conversion API was successfully executed and as you can see this is the metadata uh, which was received as a response from Facebook and yeah that's pretty much what you need to do although it will take some time for you to see the the data coming to uh, this overview part in the data set it takes like a half an hour for the first time but uh, as the workflow starts executing for real leads you will actually see leads coming in to this and there's pretty much nothing you need to do other than that because the campaign uh, will be fed by data from go high level through this workflow and yeah that's that's pretty much all you need to do guys that's pretty simple hope you understood this process and make sure you subscribe if you think it will help your facebook ads game that's all for this video and i'll see you in the next one thank you